So who wouldn't want to win a multi-million dollar home? Well, that's the top prize at the San Francisco Dream House raffle held every year. But KPIX 5's Susie Steimel looked at the fine print and found out that prize really could be just a dream. It stands four levels high. The house is spectacular. A six-bedroom Pacific Heights mansion with views of the bay worth more than $10 million. It's the top prize in this year's San Francisco Dreamhouse raffle, and in a real estate-starved city, winning would be a dream come true. What would it be like to live in a house like this? Uh, yeah, a dream. It's beautiful. The yearly contest that costs $150 a ticket is a benefit for the nonprofit Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. And over the past decade, the homes billed as the grand prize form a gallery of high end real estate in the city's priciest neighborhoods. So, just how many of these multi million dollar homes have actually been given away? Well, we checked. And in 10 years of Dream House raffles, not one Dream House has been given away. The raffle ought to give away the prize that's most heavily uh, advertised and promoted. Daniel Borchoff is founder of the watchdog group Charity Watch. He says, like most Dreamhouse raffles, the contest rules have a lot of caveats. It's misleading, clearly, um, unless somebody's poured over the, the fine friend, and unfortunately, people. You know, are not doing that. Yerba Buena says on its website, 65,000 tickets must be sold in order for a house to be awarded. But we've learned in 10 years, the ticket threshold has only been reached twice. In both cases, the winners opted for the alternative cash prize. Oh, it was exciting. I mean, I. It was totally unexpected. Shirley Junifant won the top prize in the 2015 Dreamhouse raffle. No home was awarded that year. The ticket threshold wasn't reached. But Shirley's happy with the big cash prize she received. I was fine with it. I'm just that mentality. I like to win, you know, whatever it is. Tax lawyer Alan Sayers says claiming the house, if it were awarded, would be expensive. Three point nine million dollars worth of taxes just at the federal level. The winner must pay all taxes and fees associated with closing on a house on a 10.5 million dollar property in San Francisco that would be about 53 percent of the uh, value of the prize. In other words more than five and a half million dollars. The real winner of Yerba Buena's raffle might just be a former Watsonville school teacher turned contest consultant named Neil Zavi. Ever dream of living in an incredible home like this? Zavi, who helped run one of the nation's very first dream house raffles in Marin County, has made a business of running the contests. He didn't respond to our questions or our request for an interview. But IRS records show Yerba Buena paid Zavi and his consulting company more than $5 million between 2009 and 2015. And Zavi has other clients as well. At least five other charities paid him $11 million to run their dream house contests between 2006 and 2015. All told, he's taken home nearly $17 million from dream house giveaways. Yerba Buena, which also declined our request for an interview, told us by email, Zavi's fees are justified because the raffle has netted more than $30 million in vital revenue since 2009, revenue that's allowed the organization to maintain its programs despite an overall drop-off in philanthropy. It appears that this raffle is getting a, a reasonable return for the charity. And there are plenty of other smaller prizes, too. 2300 in all. But Borchoff says perception here. is important. He says if never giving away a house in a dream house raffle, raffle could come back to haunt a charity. If charities participate in a raffle where they heavily advertise a prize and they don't give away that prize, it does taint the uh, charity. He says it could also ultimately diminish ticket sales if people realize this dream may never come true. Susie Steimel, KPIX 5. And Yerba Buena tells us it is considering publishing a ticket sales tally in the future so entrants can see if winning the home is actually a possibility.